Okay, so now that you have a general idea of how these knobs work, and if you don't, go and watch the last video and take time and play around with them, okay? Uh, I just wanted to cover those because now as we start to drag envelopes onto the knobs, you have a general idea of how they're going to work, okay? So envelope one inside of Serum is how we actually control the volume. Now for myself, I usually like to be using like envelope two to control like the different knobs and stuff. And then I also would use envelope three for like the filter. Now, the reason why I like to do it this way is because it just gives me more flexibility. So if I'm on envelope one, this is controlling just the volume of the sound. So once I have that shape, I'm happy, okay? If I go to envelope two, now I can adjust, you know, all these different knobs with envelope two, for example. Now in envelope three, I can be adjusting like the filter and I can have total control over different things because again, let's say, let's say envelope two was controlling all these different knobs and I bring back down like the sustain here or whatever, right? If I adjust it just a little bit, and let's say this was on the detune, let's say it was on, you know, here, okay? If I adjust it just a little bit, well, I'm adjusting actually two knobs. And you just got to be a little bit careful because, you know, one little change here can actually affect something large that you're not intending. So let's get into how we can actually use these envelopes to do cool things. So I'm just going to click here and I am just going to select, um, let's go digital. Let's just you know, find a cool sound. Okay. This bottle blow one was pretty cool. Okay. Let's go further on into the wavetable. Okay. So we're just going to leave it like that. Okay. So now again, unison is how many voices. Okay. So when I play one note, we're actually going to get five voices with that one note. And you can see that right down here. Okay. We actually have five and because I have detune on, we're getting it to sound nice and wide right now. It's just going to sound dead center. Okay. So let's say we want to use this envelope to just kind of mess around with the wavetable as well as detune. All you have to do is come here and just click and drag it on. Now, when I press any note down, this envelope is still following the basic principles of ADSR like I just explained in previous videos. Attack is how long it takes to get to the maximum volume or the maximum value. Decay is how long it takes to get to the sustain. Okay, once it's at the sustain, if you're holding down that note, it's going to stay there forever. When you let go, that is when the release kicks in. Okay. Now, again, it's just really important that you're understanding the concepts of envelopes because it's going to take time. And I personally found for myself that, you know, once I understood it for like the actual volume envelope, like, yeah, the attack is how long it takes for the volume to play out or whatever. Right. When you come to envelopes that are going to start controlling knobs, it really stretches your mind. Okay. That's just one thing that you have to be aware of. <laughs> it's going to take you time to learn these envelopes. So I'm going to try and go slow. Uh, but if you get stuck, just come back and watch the video, okay? So here I am on envelope two. I've dragged it onto these two knobs. Now we're going to follow the basic principles of ADSR with this envelope. So if I press a note, what's going to happen is it's going to go to the maximum value and it's going to stay at the maximum value because our sustain is at 100%. Now, if I come here and click and I am controlling the maximum value that we're going to actually be allowed to go to, in this wavetable, okay? So the attack is still the maximum value right here. So if I put this all the way to the max, that means that this wavetable is actually gonna go all the way to the maximum and then it's gonna follow our envelope. So if I bring this down, okay? And let's just say this is our general envelope. Envelope two is gonna be like this, okay? So let's bring our attack up a little bit. Now let me walk you through what's gonna happen with the knob. So if I play a note, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take you know, 182 seconds to get to the maximum value right here. With the decay, it's going to pull back a little bit, but then the sustain is going to stay around here. Just for example, when I let go of that note, it's going to take time to pull back. Okay. Let me play a note for you and show you that. Okay. So if I play a note, it takes time to get to the maximum value and then it pulls back and it's going to stay there. And I'll move the sustain when I'm actually holding down the note. You can see that it's staying there at the sustain, okay? So for example, if I increase the sustain, you can see that it's actually changing where it's gonna hold. So now it's up here. If I go more forward, it's gonna be up higher. Okay, so again, we're getting into some really weird sounds. That's also because the detune is on, so I'm gonna pull that, pull that back quite a bit. Okay, so again, I'm gonna bring the sustain down. Okay, so, Again, you know, you might just be kind of like, well, 
what is going on here? Now, the whole goal here is to create sounds that are really dynamic in a sense that they're always moving and they're kind of doing cool things. Otherwise, you know, your knob, for example, is just going to stay here forever and it's not going to move. In addition, you can also make it go to a minus value too. Okay, that's kind of a cool thing with, with uh, these synths. So let's talk about the detune, okay? And we're going to follow the same envelope because again, envelope two is controlling the wavetable and the detune knob. So again, this is the maximum value. Now, in this case with detune, you know, you probably don't want your detune going all the way to 100% because it's going to sound super out of tune, okay? You know, the whole benefit of detune is it gives a thick sound, but you're still able to have your sound in pitch. If you're all the way up here to get the max value, you are going to be really messing with like that fundamental, okay? You know, your sound isn't going to be in pitch, which means that you're not going to be able to use it with other sounds. So again, the attack is how long it's going to take to get to the maximum value. In this case, well, this is way too much detune. Let's say we want it around here, okay? So we can come here and we can say that this is the maximum value that we're able to reach with our detune, okay? So again, I press the note down. It's going to take 182 seconds to get up to the maximum value. Then it's going to pull back over pretty much 800 milliseconds on the decay. Okay. So for example, it's going to come all the way up and then it's going to pull back and it's going to stay at the sustain right there. Let me play that for you. There you go. It's staying right there. So again, you know, the sound does sound a little bit weird. We can adjust it like this and we can say we're just going to bring it just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit of movement and watch it might sound a lot better. Now, for example, let's go to the effects. Let's add on some reverb. Okay. You're going to see how big and beautiful it sounds. Let's maybe just adjust and select a different one. Something that's a little bit more aggressive. Okay. So there we go. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so for example, now if I hold down Control and Alt and just left click on these knobs, it's the same thing as right clicking and uh, just removing it and stuff like that. Right now, the sound's going to sound static because these knobs are not going to move. Okay, if I now re-enable them, holding down Control and Alt and left clicking, okay. You can see that we're getting movement, okay? One more time, if I have like a fast attack, uh, let's have more detune in there. And I'm gonna pull back this the actual sustain here and we'll go a much faster decay. So what's gonna happen is, is it's gonna go to the max value. It's gonna come back really, really quick and it's gonna have some detune, okay? So let's try and go way more detune. Now, one final thing I'm just going to throw at you quickly is just the filter. So right now, oscillator A is enabled on the filter. If I was using oscillator B, I would ha actually have to enable it here for it to go into the filter, okay? So right now, if I enable the filter and if I play it, well, it's like this is static. And this is what I'm trying to get across to you that our music and our sound design, we want to be able to open up this knob for example, with an envelope, and that's where I would use envelope three. So just for example, I'm just going to drag it onto the cutoff. Okay. And what I've told you so far is again, back to the ADSR. That's how these envelopes work. What's going to happen is it's going to open up the filter right away to max value. So it's going to be like this. And as I hold it down, it's going to stay there. And then when I let go, well, then it's going to go come back to whatever position I've left the knob at. Now that doesn't really give much movement in the track. For example, let's pull back the sustain just a little bit here, okay? Give it some release as well. And now let's play the sound. Okay. I'm gonna say not, you know, I don't want it to go all the way to the maximum. We can pull it back a little more. So maybe something like this. And we'll go faster on the decay. Okay, you can see how we can start shaping a sound, right? So for example, turn off the filter, sounds like this, turn it on, give some drive in there. You know, it's always nice to have a fair volume comparison. So, okay. And that's because of the filter. Okay. The filter is, is doing this for us and we can actually have a little bit of an attack in there. So see, it's taking time to open up that filter because that's the attack, how long it takes to get to the maximum value. 
and again this is like how like you know dubstep and all that stuff with like lfos like what they're doing is they're affecting like the filter and they're kind of getting like that wobble sound uh all to do with this you know filters envelopes lfos stuff like that when we are dealing with the attack like i'm telling you that like you know even 10 milliseconds especially when you're in like the lower numbers really can have an effect on a sound okay so okay so quick recap in this video i talked to you about envelopes and how we can use them for various things so we talked about the volume envelope this is what's controlling the actual way that the sound plays out and in this case you know uh our sustains all the way at 100 percent. i would usually never have a sound like that usually i would have it maybe something more like this okay so it goes to max value it takes a little bit of time to just lower in volume and it just creates a little bit more of a natural kind of sound that you hear more in like the real world uh, now envelope two and envelope three in this case, envelope two, I used it to affect the wavetable and the detune. And again, it's just following ADSR. Okay, so attack, decay, sustain, release. That's all it's doing. And then you can select, you know, how aggressive it's being. And that's just with envelope two. And I just selected the knobs. And, you know, if we had oscillator B, you, could do the, you can do the exact same thing. And you can even select other things like the, like the actual level or and stuff like that. Okay. And then in my case, again, this is just my workflow, how I like to flow. Um... With envelope three, what I did was I just used uh, a different envelope and I dragged it only to the filter. So as you can see, we're only selecting, uh, we're only affecting one knob, whereas this one is actually affecting four knobs. One, two, three, four. So again, you have to be a little bit careful if I adjust this to this, it's actually affecting the four knobs, okay? Whereas with envelope three, this is just the filter, and now, you know, it's doing its thing with the filter. I don't have to worry about if I adjust it like this or like this. It's not affecting anything else but this cutoff knob. Okay, so that's just a quick recap. These are the envelopes. These are fundamental for you to understand. In the case of Serum, this is only the volume. These ones you can be using for various knobs. This one I like to use for the filter. There's no rules. You can do whatever you want. That's just how I flow, okay?